Hello everyone welcome to my channel please subscribe and stay tuned by clicking the bell icon. If this is what you call a honeymoon, the unofficial Bridgerton musical explained. Based on the incredibly popular Netflix original series, the unofficial Bridgerton musical took the internet by storm and caused quite a stir in 2021. Causing quite a stir, the unofficial Bridgerton musical took the world by storm in 2021 and brought Netflix's Bridgerton to life in song. Debuting just a year earlier in 2020, Bridgerton is based on the romantic period novels of Julia Quinn and follows the love lives of the Bridgerton siblings as they navigate the complicated romantic waters of England's Regency era. The show was an instant smash hit for its steamy romance, brilliant costumes, and anachronistic storytelling that brought modern pop culture back to the Regency era. As such, many fans were inspired to express their love for the show, and some took things even further. The best movies and TV series have always had the ability to fire the imaginations of fans, and Bridgerton was no exception. Though the show's use of anachronism was certainly a strong jumping-off point, period dramas like Bridgerton make great musicals inherently because of the built-in grandeur of the costuming and characters that have a theatrical flair. Seemingly overnight, the unofficial Bridgerton musical was almost as big as the show that spawned it, and the long and complicated road that the production followed was a dramatic saga all of its own. In the wake of Bridgerton's first season, the seeds of the unofficial Bridgerton musical were planted when singer Abigail Barlow began penning songs from the perspective of many of the show's characters. According to Pop Sugar, the simple question of, what if Bridgerton was a musical? began to take off on TikTok when Barlow posted renditions of her songs with the track Burn For You gaining particular attention. Recounting the passionate wedding night of Daphne and Simon, the song features evocative lyrics such as If This Is What You Call A Honeymoon, pacing round our separate rooms, running from our elaborate ruse, we're doomed. Barlow's friend Emily Bear provided the music for the songs, and it didn't take long for tunes like Burn For You to become the talk of the internet world on TikTok. Catching on with the theatrical side of the social media platform, fans began performing the song on their own and even speculating about the potential for an actual Bridgerton musical that could bring Barlow and Bear's work to life on a larger scale. The trend became so popular that even Netflix got in on the action and shared clips on their Twitter page in support of Barlow and Bear's work. Barlow and Bear's unofficial Bridgerton musical was eventually compiled into an album that helped it gain an even larger audience, and rumblings began that it might be an award-worthy work. The concept album was released in September 2021, and it was eventually nominated for the Best Musical Theatre Album Grammy Award, which was a first for anything from TikTok. The unofficial Bridgerton musical made history by winning the Grammy and even beat out major albums like Andrew Lloyd Webber's Cinderella and Les Miserables the staged concert. Despite previously endorsing Barlow and Bear's Bridgerton work, Netflix took legal umbrage with the pair when they began staging theatrical performances of the unofficial Bridgerton musical. As reported by Variety, the for-profit London concerts were seen by Netflix to be a violation of their copyright and that the performances stretched fan fiction well past its breaking point. Bridgerton showrunner Shonda Rhimes defended Netflix's lawsuit, but the case was eventually settled between the two parties in September 2021. If you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and share.